how do I start this? Is there a funny joke I can say? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you gonna enter the sex zone? I'm gonna enter the sex zone. <laughs> <laughs> The Suck Zone. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Salty Nerd Podcast. We're talking about the original Bill Paxton, Helen Hunt, C Philip Seymour Hoffman, and the guy from Princess Bride, uh, <laughs> Twister. We're about ready to get... And <laughs> Hold on. Bueller's best friend. And Ferris Bueller's best friend. <laughs> this movie has everyone. Get ready to enter the Suck Zone. <laughs> Matt is here. What's up, man? Hey, man. How you doing? I'm I'm here and um, I I don't know. I, I, I'm here. I I didn't have something quippy to say, but that's uh, okay. Yeah, Judah's also here. Really oh, and Matthew Kedish. I really hate this movie. You what is wrong crazy. with there you? Is, yeah, there is. You're insane. Uh, this movie does indeed suck. Enter the suck zone. <laughs> I I love this movie so much. It's so such such a it. stupid guilty pleasure. It really is. In the group the other day, you were like, "Hey, should we?" And I was like, "Yes, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Twister. <laughs> I'm probably if I can manage it, I might go see the sequel tonight because uh, really? it's out in theaters right now. Oh, is I didn't it? know. It was out. I think I so. Didn't think it came out till Friday. Is it this Friday? I think it's this Friday. Let me check. Let me check Galaxy Theaters app real quick. Okay. And see. But anyway, I wanted to go see it. Uh, I'm very excited for the sequel. I'm even more excited now that I know the director told people to fuck off, which is great. <laughs> I'll tell that story real quick just to get it out of the way. Um, uh, the the uh, That stupid magazine, uh, Hollywood Reporter, uh, wrote an op-ed or whatever the hell that says, why Twisters refuses to mention climate change. And they go through this whole spiel about like, well... Well, weather's different now, and it's because people suck in the climate, and this movie should mention that. And then the director, in quotes, the director was like, I'm not talking about that shit. I'm here to make an entertaining yeah. movie. Yeah. Did San Andreas have a message? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm here to talk. Deep impact? I'm here to make a summer blockbuster for people to go get entertained. I don't want to beat them over the head with a message. And I'm like, oh, I'm watching this movie twice now. Oh, yeah. Uh, so thank you, whoever is directing this movie. Oh, good. Uh, director Lee Isaac Chung. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Uh, excellent. I cannot wait to see the sequel. So in preparation for that, we are going to be talking about the original one. And uh, I freaking love this movie. I have a guilt. It's not guilty pleasure, but it's just like it has a no, memory. This, this is a guilty pleasure movie. Yeah. This is this is almost disaster like, movies. movie. Yeah, they, it right here. they do. I would I would put this almost in a cult movie status at this. Point. Really? Yeah. Cult movie? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I, I'm yeah. curious to see. <laughs> I have no idea what it did in theaters at the time when it came out, but I remember it was a blockbuster. I remember watching it with my dad growing up, and it was like that. That it was like right up there with Red October mm -hmm. for like, oh, dad, you want to watch Twister? Yeah, let's yeah. watch Twister. I'll throw it on the TV. Oh, dad, Twister's on TNT. You want to watch it? Absolutely. It's like one of those things. So, uh, because of that, the reason why I'm so hyped for the sequel, which I, I know a lot of people in my comments on Twitter are like, oh, I don't even know this movie needed a sequel. I'm like, it doesn't, but I'm gonna go see it anyway. Yeah. Every <laughs> single trailer I have seen for the new one, I've looks like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I don't even care if it's a sequel. It doesn't even have to be a sequel. They could just be a remake. I don't think it is. I just like I want to go watch it because it sounds fun. Yeah. Like I just want to go have fun. So uh, without further ado, oh go ahead. But before we get into the Jude stuff, yeah. Uh, the Matt, Jude stuff. Matt, do you remember when this movie was getting ready to come out? In 1996 or something. Yeah, yeah. The build up to it. Uh, not really. Not really? No. So this was what, like, the most hyped movie of the summer. Mm. And they did this really underhanded thing where basically, like, so Jan de Bont, who uh, directed this movie, he was coming off the success of Speed. Mm. And uh, they made a trailer. Uh, and also this was produced by Kathleen Kennedy and Steven Spielberg. No. Oh, it's Amblin. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, they made a trailer that was a killer trailer. It was a fantastic trailer. And the very final shot of the trailer was a, a tornado that threw a tire through a windshield and it goes like right at through the audience. Oh, okay. And when they were like previewing this trailer in the theater, like that one shot, everyone was like, oh, wow, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> and then like everyone like who went to go see the movie, they were like, where was the tire shot? <laughs> it didn't exist in the movie. Uh, they just made it for the trailer. That's funny. And uh, I can remember seeing the, this movie when it came out uh, opening day. And there was actually like a cinema score guy out there who was like interviewing people as they were like coming out of the theater. And it was so funny because everyone was so hyped going into the theater. And as they were coming out, they're like, yeah, it was okay. They, they didn't have the shot of the tire. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't, like yeah. that. Last town you were in in 1996. 
<laughs> but are you ready? Yes, I'm, like, I'm ready. All right. Just all I know really quick mm -hmm. is that I always enjoyed this movie. I liked it when I first saw it, and I still like it now. And yeah. I don't really know anybody except Mr. Poopy Pants over here. <laughs> who doesn't who like doesn't it. Who doesn't like it. You were literally, I think, the first person I've ever met. It's a dumb movie. That didn't <laughs> like this movie. And I think I'm mad at him. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, he texted the group chat the other night, and he's like, this movie is so bad, it's painful to watch. I'm like, you shut your whore mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But, you know, okay. I was like, are you, it literally, after that text, I was like, it literally has never occurred to me that you might not be excited to go see Twisters. <laughs> I'll go with you, Jude. I was like, yeah. are you not excited? He goes, yeah, I'm not excited for it. I was oh. like, oh, God, I think I'm mad at you about yeah, it. Yeah, for real. This, yeah, this movie. I mean, I'll, I'll go watch it with you if I'm out of work. Okay, so it comes out this Thursday. So I can't go today, but it's this Thursday. Maybe we go next Monday or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You ready? You I'm so up? ready, Jude. Yeah, Hit me with it. 1996, Twister. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour, thir 53 minutes of adventure, love, and a gal from Kansas that just needs to get her bucket ass in the air. This had a budget of 92 million particles of debris. Wow. What do you think it brought in? $92 million? I think it brought in $220 million. All right, Beta. I'm going to go Dutch. I'm gonna go $221 million, Bob. <laughs> Had a box office bring home of four hundred ninety-four wow. million cows. And that's why we're getting. Get it. That's why we got a, a sequel forty years later. Forty yeah. years later. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why didn't they make a sequel I don't sooner? Know. It's interesting. All right. I made a lot of money. Dang. Yeah. Hit me with it. All right. This asshole storm has been targeting Helen Hunt's loved ones for years, and she's not going to take it anymore. <laughs> it's a race against the man in black to see who can get their nanobots inside the tornado first. But Dread Pirate Roberts, with his fleet of matching storm chasers, doesn't stand a chance against Cameron Fry, Truman Capote, and High Times Man of the Year. Dr. Joe Harding's even got Private Hudson on her team, and they've got true love working for them. With bellies full of steak and eggs, they put their heads, hearts, and trucks together to defeat tornadoes once and for all. And get rid of that bitch star who tricked Corey Haim's brother into becoming a vampire. <laughs> Discuss. You, you know why I think I like this movie, at least part of the reason, is that every single one of these storm chaser dudes seem cool. <laughs> yeah, they're, well, all, they, they're, they're, all, they're all cool. Dude, it's, it's like, a, cool it's like a, as soon as this movie came out, like shortly after, everybody wanted to go on a storm chaser. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I still want to go chase Dude. a storm. I would love to at least once. We just Ooh. had like a epic record like tornadoes all through oh, like yeah. Oklahoma this mm. past tornado season. And people were posting all the TikToks about them. And for like a week straight, my entire four <laughs> just twisters. Just tornadoes. And I was like going out of my mind. I love it. Yeah. There's that. something, so there's something about tornadoes that like, it doesn't like, you're just like, whoa, yeah. it's like a, this weird it force of nature. Anywhere. Yeah, right. Like, you know, when shit happens in like outer space or in the ocean, you put yourself there. Yeah. You're just living in Oklahoma, living a life, having some kids, raising, raising a, like a couple cow. cows. <laughs> Got a barn with every knife yeah. known to man. Yeah, yeah. grow some corn and this fucking asshole storm comes through and ruins my yeah, life. Right? It's just such a weird type of, of I, uh, weather pattern. It's I, just uh, like, it's so wild that it even exists. When we went to New Orleans. Yeah. Was that two years ago? Almost. Um, our last day there. We a tornado came through. No way. Yeah, and it killed like a person, like two oh, miles south of where we stand. But but this, it was this big massive storm, and all of a sudden, um, it was all just like in the movie. It's like every the the storm alerts, the 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 news, the the massive storm, the yeah. the rain, the wind. You know, and we're sitting here in our verbo, <laughs> going, Jesus Christ! It was it, it was it was crazy. Yeah. You know you know and um it was. A, a neat experience, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it sucks that you know some bad stuff happened. But it was, it was, it was definitely interesting to me yeah. to, to go through that. You, you get, you get being a West Coaster my whole life. We don't get tornadoes here. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Yeah. Like Oregon, so, that's not no, a thing, right? No. Okay. Not Have you ever been ever. like mm. in a tornado? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever strapped a belt? To yourself? <laughs> you know, I, I, no, but I've driven through that countryside where it's just completely flat and everything like that. And I'm just and and I love thunder. I grew up where there were big thunder th yeah. thunderstorms, but I've never seen a tornado before. And it's always been one of those things where I'm like, God, I wish I could just see one just you know, once. Even yeah. gro growing up in Oregon, it's either you know kind of hot and muggy mm -hmm. or, or or rainy. Yeah. You know, when we moved here, the most intensive weather I've ever seen is when we moved here. To Las Vegas. 
There's no such thing as moderate weather. Everything's extreme. Yeah. It's either 60 mile per hour winds with thunderstorm, lightning and hail <laughs> and flash floods, or it's 120 fucking degrees outside. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating when no, I say I'm not, that. No, that's real. We literally broke the record for the hottest all time recorded temperature a week ago at 120 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's been a hell summer. It has just been awful. Yeah. So I, and, and weather has just always intrigued me. You know, you know, I've always been one of those guys. It's like, I, I'd say to myself, it's like, I want to go go through a hurricane. I want to I want to go be one of those idiots that stays, you know. <laughs> but but uh, I just just to the experience, I want to be that guy out with the with the flag, with the American flag. That, that, just out in the like, yeah! <laughs> Fuck you storm, you know. It's like, like uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, my father, <laughs> back in time, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, out there. Is this the best you <laughs> got? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, but you'd be scared. Brain, my brain wants to, you know, until it's until I'm out there and All right. a, a freaking combine flying at me at 80 miles per hour through the air let's talk about this movie man <laughs> i i have so much stupid fun with this movie the the ragtag group of storm chaper storm chasers with bill pax and helen hunt uh -huh. to me it's like the dirty dozen yeah. they're just like these low down they're just all passion science nerds yeah just like i just want to get in the shit yeah and they all have these rickety old like vans and shit that they're driving around in other equipment works they got these it, they just they feel so real as right. like little mini characters. Exactly. You don't know shit about any of them. Nope. They spend zero time setting up who these people are at all. It's just like that's the preacher, that's the crazy guy, that's the map guy, that's uh Aunt you know, Meg. We all love Aunt, Aunt Meg. Aunt Meg, yeah. She Man. just has steaks and biscuits and gravy. She made Thanksgiving dinner Hell and yeah. also steaks and eggs. <laughs> They show up <laughs> randomly with no notice, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I've got fifteen steaks yeah. and three dozen eggs. But you know Let's what? go." Did you see That's... my cow out front? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Listen, um, that was that was my wife's aunt Judy. That's real. Yeah, that's, that's a real. real person. That's a real person. That's what I love about these characters is they all feel so stupidly re like real. Like, oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. definitely a dude like that in the Midwest who runs around there, in a short bus with a bunch of weather equipment in the back. There wasn't one lady that that where I grew up in rural Southern Oregon that couldn't put that very same meal together mm -hmm. with about 30 minutes notice. Easy. Totally, totally. Feed, could feed 30 people with yeah. stuff in their freezer. Yeah. So. Uh, Dusty, Philip Seymour Hoffman, just just the chef's kiss <laughs> on this movie, man. I I, I, I do have to mention. What's up? Mention him. Um, I felt a little sad because I hadn't watched this movie in a while. Yeah, the, yeah. And, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Gone. Paxton gone. gone. Um, you, you know, it's just two great ones. Yeah. I, I texted you guys. Like, yeah. man, this movie's you teared up. I, I almost teared up a little bit. At because, what point? You found um, another one. Yeah. When, when 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 it was when Bill Paxton pretty much came on the show. Well, it was a there's a scene mm -hmm. where it's just Seymour Hoffman and Paxton. It's a right. really short little Oh, and they just they're like buddy and buddy. And they're like, buddy buddy. And yeah. it's, like, it's like five seconds of the movie. The extreme. And you, and you just like yeah. and you just kind of like go there and you go, holy shit, they're both gone. Yeah. And they were both amazing actors. Yeah. You know, and Bill Paxton in particular, mm -hmm. because he was just like, he's been in like every nerd dork movie. Terminator, Terminator. Alien. Yeah. It's just like movies Big that. Love. Yeah. You, you know, I st to this day, we all, we, we're, we're always quoting him. Yeah. Why didn't you put her in charge? Game over, man. Game over, man. <laughs> you, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's just. And then Philip Seymour, with this line that I just, I, every chance I get, I say it, you're entering the suck zone. Yeah. And it's like, Zone. Like that, he this tiny, tiny little character that had almost nothing to do with this movie. He just made it so fucking memorable right. and so fun to watch. Right. I'll never forget There's Dusty just, from Twister. Speaking of fun to watch, look how much fun Katie. Katie's, just Katie's having a blast. Yeah. <laughs> this is an, uh... Why do you hate Joy? I know, it's weird. He hates it. He killed his father. Dude, <laughs> oh, can we talk about the therapy lady? Bill Paxton's new wife or whatever? Bailey! Why do you all call him the extreme? <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. I've got kale. Kale. <laughs> She's so adorable. You're just like, oh, who, who little that sweetie. Actress? Who's that actress? I, don't, I, I recognize Gertz. her. Well, who is it? Jamie Gertz. Okay. Jamie Gertz. She's adorable in this movie. Like Helen Hunt's like this cowboy. Like she's like the no, rough. No regrets. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution to the podcast. Um, <laughs> slow clap, everybody. <laughs> um, like like Helen Hunt is like this tomboyish, like science nerd cowgirl. She's, she's like a ma yeah. She's out there doing she's shit. A mission take these tornadoes she's just out. A wife beater the just whole the whole time. time. Yeah. And uh, and his new wife is like this like business suit therapist 
They're not married. His his fiance. Yeah. Um, Her perfectly quaffed dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she is she's a fish out of water. She she's like oh, yeah. more and more unhinged as. Oh, the oh dude. On. The yeah. more she realizes how crazy her new husband's going yeah. to be, yeah. she's like, uh, I'm not cut out for this shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I think she she kind of figures it out right from the get go. It's like she's, oh yeah, she's still in love with you, dude. The, the conversation, yeah, you know that, right? You know she's still in love. Yeah. With you. Well, she cut, well she's a she's like a relationship therapist. Yeah. yeah. Right. And she's like, oh, I see what's happening. Here. <laughs> she didn't sign the paperwork right. because she doesn't want you to leave. Uh-huh. Exactly. And she calls him. She calls him out first early on, and he's like, "Don't be ridiculous, babe. I don't, I don't give a shit about her." <laughs> and then when they're uh, later on in the movie, when they're in the diner together, and they're just like kind of chatting it up, and she's like, "Why is why is that guy want Billy?" Blah blah. blah like talking, and she's like. You're still in love with him, aren't you? And <laughs> Helen Hunt just goes like deer in the headlights, like, oh shit. <laughs> I'll tell you what I love is this coffee. Guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that dynamic is great. Like the little love triangle that's happening in this movie. Like this movie is a bombastic action movie, just fun, having a good time. Weather's extreme, characters are crazy. And then in the middle of it, it's just a little love triangle that just yeah. makes it even more dynamic and interesting. But it wasn't that huge of a deal. No. I mean, even when they ended it, she, look, nobody she, felt bad she, for she anybody. Goes, she goes, I'm not even. Mad. I don't even feel bad yeah. about it yeah. because this is clearly the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, you know, like you would so. be miserable if you married me. You I mean, they just... could have went a completely different soap opera direction with this part of the movie, and I'm I'm really glad they didn't because it would have just, just distracted. Katie just thought she yeah. was going to end up with Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted to learn more about the suck zone. Ends up with ends up with Dusty later, right? Like, <laughs> you obey. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, all the characters are so much fun. Let's talk about Dorothy, though. This is my... Bi- okay, so this movie's not... Dorothy? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Right, yeah. Makes yeah. no sense. Oh, about Dorothy. It. It's just, <laughs> this is not as a movie that you scientifically look to for accuracy. It's like, so you have a bucket with a bunch of balls in it, mm-hmm. and Those your idea is to get that bucket to get sucked up by a tornado. Uh-huh. Why do you have it in the back of your fucking truck? <laughs> So why you not just why not just how to how it on a trailer or just have put wheels on it and drag and then drop it and go drop the trailer yeah drop That's the trailer and go really attach it to Helen Hunt's dad what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the concept that they're trying to be like why don't you let him this bucket that, you know, that would have been something he could actually complain about yeah you know this does uh, this doesn't make, make any sense does it uh, it makes even less sense when the evil corporate storm chasers have their square sensors <laughs> <laughs> that's the change that's the little change they made I, 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 I like when they, when they introduce uh, Carrie Elways and, and, and they're just like man those guys sold out to their corporate <laughs> oh dude yeah. the smack We're talk the science the man. smack talk between these people is he's so funny no heart. he's like the, what, he looks like real stern to the camera the day of sniffing the dirt is over in the background <laughs> it's better than what you sniff man <laughs> It was so perfect. It's I so love dorky. The rivalry. Yeah, yeah, it's great, man. <laughs> they have their their big fancy black vehicles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not- we do it for the love of sports. <laughs> we just do it for science. He's dude. got he's got good tech, but no instinct. <laughs> You know, uh, Tom Hanks was originally supposed to play the Bill Paxton part. In oh, that would have been way worse. And uh, Tom Hanks? Yeah, oh, and, awful. And, and actually, he was he was cast up at, like, you know, he chose, like, all the wardrobe and all this stuff. And then, like, at the last minute, he kind of pulled out because he's like, this isn't where I want my career to go. <laughs> <laughs> and and he had just worked on Apollo 13 with Bill Paxton, and he was yeah. the guy who got Bill Paxton that gig. Oh, Bill's perfect for this role. Yeah. Tom he's- Hanks was like, I cannot stand behind the science of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying anything about weather. So, Next thing you're going to say me is Kevin Bacon was up for the Carrie Elwes role. So. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been all right. Um, evil Kevin Bacon. Evil Kevin Bacon. Dude, you know what I just watched recently with evil Kevin Bacon when he was young? It was River Wild. I haven't. You've never seen River Wild? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> you want to talk about evil Kevin Bacon. Nice. He's real shitty in that movie. Uh, anyway, I got to talk about one thing that has always not bothered me, but I've always had like, I wonder why they did this. Is it the belts? <laughs> no, the belts are obvious. One. <laughs> no, um, it's it's uh, Joe's character versus Bill Paxton's character, uh, Bill. So Joe and Bill. Bill is the one who is like, he has the sixth sense. He knows right. storms. He can. He's the chosen one. He's storm the one. Whis- storm whisperer. He's the storm whisperer. <laughs> and Joe is just super passionate. Uh-huh. So she just has well, this Joe's drive. A doctor. She's she's. She's more the science. Right. And he's the... He's the instinct. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, they're a great team. I'm not complaining about that. But I've always wondered, like, they spent a lot of time explaining why Joe is the way she is. Mm -hmm. The whole movie... Excuse me. 
the whole movie is about her uh, her getting like her mind wrapped around the fact that the, the storm took her dad yeah. mm -hmm. and her family and she's trying to protect people so that what happened to her doesn't happen to other people they, they spend a lot of time building joe's character up and the only explanation that we get for bill's intuition about storms is oh yeah bill's really good with storms and that's it and i'm like I wish that they would have spent a little bit more time explaining where Bill gets this instinct from, like just to kind of even that out a little bit, because I feel like they're fighting two main characters. Like Bill is the guy that the movie is following because mm -hmm. it starts with him. It starts with him trying to get in touch with Joe, but then it sidelines itself by saying, yeah, but the movie's really about Joe. Well, he's a meteorologist. Well, the, mo the movie starts out with us seeing Joe's Joe dad right. getting sucked out of the cellar. Yeah. And then after that, the movie follows Bill the entire rest of the time. So, but they're together most of the time. Most, so. but I feel like they're. I feel like it was a conflicting. Like, who's the main character? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a. It's the storm. <laughs> I like that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've I've always never. I've always kind of considered them the, the both the main. It's like a dynamic duo. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of think so. So, I get um, it. when it comes to this movie, like I actually like met Bill Paxton and hung out with him for a little while at the Santa Monica Film Festival like decades ago. This was around his big love days. And he I was just, loved big love. yeah, yeah. He, he was just like one of the coolest, like nicest guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really affected when I heard that he had passed away. Mm -hmm. And this is like him in his prime. Mm -hmm. This is him where like, I'm surprised that he didn't get more leading man roles after this movie. But it just goes to show how dumb this movie is. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that, that he wasn't able to launch a career off of this. Like, like, He's in the suck suck zone of joy. <laughs> I, 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 Let him talk. I, I, Let him talk. I, I want to explain why. So Jan de Bont, who, uh, you know, he was a great cinematographer, worked on some of the great movies with uh, John McTiernan. Uh, he'd done Speed as like his first directorial debut. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, it was, it was, he, he was kind of like the hot new director at this point in time. And this is a movie that had a great pedigree to it with Steven Spielberg. It was Kathleen Kennedy at the time. Um, and, uh, Spielberg was actually the one who came up with the idea of having like the dad die at the beginning. Mm. Uh, but like, as we were watching it, like, you know, Jude and I were like, just let the door go and run back. Where, yeah. Like, right. Oh, there's a lot of logical the, problems yeah. with this movie. <laughs> and, and Jan de Bont, you know, like he went on to make like a lot of other like bad movies, but like his whole thing was like, I'm going to make the tornadoes like a sentient thing. Like they're going to be like, like wild beasts, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, and that to me, I, I just, I, I found it so so grating um, <laughs> and, and I, and you, you got kind of the same performances that you got from speed where like everything was ADR. So it gave it this like kind of weird, like surreal experience of like watching these characters interact with each other. I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't find them interesting. I didn't like the love triangle thing. I thought it was stupid and distracting. I often wondered why they brought in her aunt instead of just having it be her mom. Um, th th there was a lot of stuff in it, but the thing that, I found just consistently grating was the wind physics of, of this movie <laughs> because you, you, you have a situation where they're in a truck, right? And, and they're facing down a category five tornado. And this thing is throwing around semi trucks with, yeah. with full uh, uh, gasoline trailers right? Like picking them up and just throwing them around, but their car just stays perfectly fine on the ground. They got really good wheels. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I, I guess, but like, but like pretty much like, the, the plot devices and plot conveniences in this movie were just like so grating. But my favorite story about it, and that this actually like makes the movie a little bit more enjoyable, is is that so there, there's a scene where uh, Bill and Joe are like driving away from the impending uh, gas tanker, mm -hmm. and it hits the ground and it blows up. Right, it's this big explosion. Yeah. And uh, Jan de Bont, the first time around, it, it was like that scene from um, Tropic Thunder <laughs> where, 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 where they, they set off the explosion without the cameras rolling. And so, and so like they had this like huge explosion and everyone was like, wait, was that supposed to happen? <laughs> so like they didn't get any of it. Oh, no. And, and so Jan de Bont was like, hey, no one tells Spielberg. <laughs> and, 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 and so like he, he just he just billed the uh, the studio for another five hundred thousand dollars to redo the shot <laughs> with the cameras rolling. So like, like it, it was it was almost like one of those uh, so stupid that, that it's funny moments uh, right. with, with this movie. But I, I think that the entire making of this movie was so stupid <clears throat> that it's funny because I just this movie doesn't hold up. 
Like I, I, I don't. I'm surprised at how much you guys love this movie. I completely I, disagree. Yeah, disagree. Yeah, I, I, I don't agree either. I think even the People even the, even it. the 1996 CGI is like, yeah, it's yeah. it's not bad. <laughs> it's, I've seen worse. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's not bad at all. I hate it when you use logic and make and, sense. Well, no, and, like, no, look, no, but he's, he's right. The 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 physics. Yeah, the physics are, are out the window. Yeah. You know, if yeah. this thing's flying, throwing cows and combines and trucks and stuff, and you're like, well, a cow weighs right, less than a truck. And, well, and you're like right next to it, you know, and you're like, oh shit, we better get out of here. You would you would be sucked up. But I don't care. But, but it's just also, it's just one of those things where it's like you have to like look past that kind of stuff because I'm just enjoying but, the movie. But but the main thrust of of like you know Dorothy can't fly. It, it's like they spent how much time, money, and research on this thing, and they didn't think to put little wings <laughs> on these things to be carried up by the wind. And the product placement was just so. <laughs> oh, the pe the Pepsi yeah, cans yeah, and they're cutting yeah. Pepsi cans. I love it. We've only been drinking Pepsi for years. Yeah. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of truck are they driving? <laughs> oh, the Jeep. So that that uh, that first truck that that yeah. uh, uh, Joe has is and a the, Jeep. I think it's badass. Pop soundtrack every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Van Halen. Yeah, man. Dun, 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 yeah, yeah man. They're freaking driving. Dude, everything about this movie is so fun. No, it makes no sense. I would like to talk about yeah. the final how they survive with the belts. Oh, okay, yeah, hit me with and it. And how very dead they would be. <laughs> oh, they would be so <laughs> dead. Their bodies would be shredded, shredded, ripped yeah. apart. The shit in the tornado would have pummeled oh, the yeah. shit out of them. For sure. And also, I think they might have just like suffocated. So I don't know. I don't know if you would or not suffocate. I think you would de you'd die from impact from something would hit you yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, the funny thing was when they run into like the barn and there's all these like knives. And oh, stuff they're like, who up. are these people? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it was good. It's a good moment. Also, those horses definitely got sucked up. Oh, yeah. Right. The, <laughs> the horses are gone. I know when the horses like trot or gallop in at the end, you're like, yeah, yeah the horses are fine. All right. Yeah. No but, dogs. But then again, the dogs then again, yeah. the dogs none of us have ever been through a tornado like that. Yeah. So we might be completely wrong. I will. Who knows? I grew up in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen tornadoes? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I can remember being at like a. a Do they sound like jaguars when they get really close to you? <laughs> <laughs> I can remember being at a festival and the siren going off and them telling everyone at the festival to yeah. get, because it was at a church. Uh -huh. It was in the, like, the parking ground of a church. Everyone had to just go down into the basement of this church and yeah. ride it out. Yeah. And yeah, it was fucking loud and the sirens were going. And, wow, and yeah, were, that's so cool. There were people freaking out and then there were other people that were like, woo, we're going to Oz! And like just not taking it seriously. And we were down in the basement of a church wow. hanging out for like an hour. So there, I remember. I don't know how long. A few years ago, they there was like a big, massive, like swarm of tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there was an F five. I think there was something like that in there. And they showed like an overhead, like satellite image or something of the aftermath. And it was just a literal black trench. Yeah, yeah. just just carved going, right through the cornfields, carved through the the world for for miles. Yeah, the it, finger it, of God. And, and, it was like there, and there was distinct boundaries. It was like somebody took a, a grater and just mm -hmm. drove it up to the middle. Of the yeah, way. yeah. It was wild. It was Which like, is what, like, I like, know. But, but, like, if you're, like, on one side of that boundary. Are, you're completely fine. Are you a well, good? Joe versus, even says that in no. the in the movie. She's like, you've never seen it miss this house and miss this house yeah. and miss this house yeah. and hit yours. You've never seen yeah. that. And he's like, Bill. Or he's like, Joe, it's not fucking alive. It's right. not real. You can't. But then it comes, it comes for <laughs> yeah. her aunt. <laughs> except when me? it roars. Yeah. Except when it you roars like a jackwire. That storm. Isn't coming for her family. It wants to cut her her, her family her line. line off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it probably wouldn't have been there at all if fucking Bill hadn't come back. <laughs> and then the storm was like, "We got to keep these two together." I wonder. Remember when that guy had a hubcap go through his skull? <laughs> yes. And he was just like yeah. he was just like, "I'm cool." It was a flesh wound. Do you, do you he wasn't cool. He was he was freaking out. He was like, oh. "Yeah, but that that flesh wound would have." And then oh, bled. it would have bled a yeah. forehead cut like that. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you'd be bleeding. Do you remember how? I know you guys are pretty young. But after Indiana Jones comes out, everybody wanted to be an archaeologist. Sure. Do you think this movie had the same kind of effect in, in, in a stance for people you. wanting to be like cool storm, weather, storm, storm chasers, chasers weather yeah. people? I guarantee you there's a whole generation of meteorologists that watched this movie growing up and were like, I want to do that. Oh, uh, I think it's more like people who just wanted to like chase storms as a hobby. Yeah. Like well, I mean, look, there's a whole there's a whole legitimate career path where you go chase storms photograph yeah. them take notes do all this stuff i mean it's real like that's, yeah, a, no, that's a thing a that people thing. do so yeah absolutely this movie inspired people to go do that for sure yeah, if, if i 
if I lived in the Midwest and I watched this movie, I'd go chase storms. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's would... Glenn Powell's entire character in the new one. Like he's <laughs> yeah. Just like he's like inspired character. by. Yeah. So I don't know if the new movie coming out is going to be a direct sequel. Like, is, are they going to mention not. this one like, or is it just I, like I a new at IMDb thing? And uh -huh. It doesn't seem like any of the characters or even like their names. So it's just are, a straight up remake. I think it's just a, a remake. I'm fine with yeah. that. A remake? Really? Yeah. I'm fine with it. I don't, I don't, it doesn't have to be like, no, oh, it, it's probably a soft reboot. Like, I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure yeah. that, that this movie exists in the new movie's canon, but they just may not reference it at all. Mm. Yeah. I don't need them to be like, oh, I remember my uncle Bill. He used to be a meteorologist. I, see, I don't need that shit. I would, I kind of, you would like that? that? Yeah. Hmm. It's like, see what's going on with, uh, you know, with, with Helen Hunt? With, I, with, I, how I, old is she I now? I guarantee you there's a Helen Hunt cameo in this. Or, you think or, so? Or, or, or Bill Paxton and who's, who's his fiance that they didn't Jamie get married? Gertz. Maybe Jamie Gertz is in Bill's illegitimate kid that she was <laughs> pregnant with during this movie <laughs> that we don't know about. Grew up and wants to be more like You think Joe was pregnant dad. during this movie? Yeah, could be. Maybe. Could be. Yeah. You know what's funny about that? Like, the conversation that they have at the beginning, they never tell you how long they were married or anything like that. There's no information. But they say they got divorced in December. And she's like, December? And what what time of year is, is uh storm chasing season? Was it like spring, right? Or early summer? September. Wait, what is it now? It's July. It's July. Now. Would it probably be like, like March or April? No, yeah, because it's when the weather's changing. So if you're if you Wait, I'm gonna Google it. When is tornado season? From cool to hot or hot to cool, then it can Tornado season is March through June. So they get divorced in December or they they separate in December <laughs> and he's remarrying somebody. By March. Yeah. <laughs> That's never a good thing. <laughs> no, no, That's amazing. Classic is, is that barbecue joint that they all go to? The uh, barbecue but joint. it was really good barbecue. I bet you that place was probably dope. <laughs> what was it? Barbecue pit? <laughs> barbecue pit. And, and it looks like they just had like an old diner set. And they were oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A barbecue set. I'm just fine with me, man. I Listen, I have no problem with this movie whatsoever. It's got some logical fallacies for sure. There's some issues with just how physics yeah. work. But it's a freaking blockbuster movie, man. When's the last time you saw a blockbuster movie that it's, got physics right? Uh, <laughs> I don't appreciate what it did to the drive-in. Oh, with the with the shining playing, I thought it was great. I thought that was like a, a really well, good I'm destroying the drive-in. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah, you remember, you remember the stupid look the kid gets on his face when in the shining when he gets scared. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> they, they should have put that on the screen. No, when the tornado was ripping. Through. You know what they did? They put they put. Uh, Jack <laughs> hammering through the door saying, here's Johnny, right as the tornado shows up. There was like some awesome. some pristine timing with that. It was good. It was definitely on purpose, too. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. How does a tornado sneak up on you? Like, honestly. It's dark. It's dark. It was at uh -huh. night. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was dark. A hat. And you're inside your car. You got your radio turned up. Yeah. You're watching a movie. You don't know if there's, I mean, the thunderstorms happen all the time. You see some lightning in the distance. Oh, not a big deal. <laughs> you're going to feel the wind. <laughs> Honestly, this is a thing that happens. Like they they just start to funnel and yeah. and appear and yeah. don't get warning when that happens. I mean, the the whole thing where uh, there's trying to reduce the the warning time. Oh damn, Helen Hunt looks good for her age. They uh that's real, you know. Yeah, she could definitely yeah. cameo in this movie. Yeah. You know, every once in a while where you haven't seen an actor in like 20 years and then they show up again and they're what like, is Whoa. She, what is she doing these days? Uh, I don't know. She's probably directing or something. Um I wonder if she's gonna show up in this movie. That'd be cool. I was kind of She's like not that. listed in the IMDb. Yeah, but she it might just cameo. Yeah. They don't always list them on IMDb if it, especially if they want to keep it a hush hush thing. I don't care. Um okay, I don't know what else to say about this movie. I love it. It's definitely a um a movie that I if I get a chance I rewatched. I did check this out. So I was uh when I was on vacation up in Reno, um there was one night where we didn't have any plans and I was like, "Look, we're on vacation. I'm going to let the kids stay up super late. What are we going to do? Watch Twister." <laughs> so I sat my kids down on the couch and I turned on Twister, watching their reaction was like reliving the movie for the yeah. first time. It was so fun because yeah. like the mid, the the middle child was like, ah, the, t the tornado's coming. Oh my God. He's like freaking out. My older son is like, is that an F2? I think it's an F3. Maybe that one's an F5. Like he was just so fascinated with like the categories yeah. of them. I had so much fun watching this movie you with my kids. Future meteorologist. Oh, for sure. If I, I'm going to go watch the new one and if it's not too intense, I might end up taking him too. Cause well, let's see what, what it's rated. I think it's rated R. It's yeah. definitely radar. Yeah, but they probably just threw an F bomb in there for no reason. You know, and that was what was cool about this movie. It's 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 exciting, it's fun. Right, but it's, it's not adventure. It's got some adventure in it. Yeah. It's it's a little bit of PG thirteen. The but, new one uh, is? Oh rad. You know, there's nothing in here that nobody really can't watch. Mm -hmm. So it's good family film too. It kinda is, yeah. I, I, I like that they went with the uh James Cameron naming convention where you have like Twister, then Twister, Twisters, yeah. Uh -huh. Alien, Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nothing wrong with that. Well, I think this one has like a series of twin tornadoes that terrorizes the town. <laughs> well, well, the third one's going to be called Twister with a Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Twister's, Twister's Cubed or something. <laughs> I don't care what it's called. T3. I'm going to watch it. T3. T3. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Down. There's three of them. I'm down. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> we have to split up. <laughs> Make one of them chase you. <laughs> what goes that way? What goes that way? Oh, we got debris. We got to, we got to separate them. Debris. <laughs> no, we got killed. <laughs> I love her so much. I, she is so fun to watch. I, I think it'd be funny if in this movie, uh, the, the sequel, that they're like, yeah, all the data we got from the original Dorothy was just bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those computers were shit. They didn't get anything from them. Oh, did you notice how big the monitors were in this movie? Oh, yeah. They were freaking, he's got them like strapped to the back of his truck. <laughs> like this big. 96, dude, that was real. Yeah. That Van O screens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That whole, this, this whole movie is just. Nowadays, they just do it on one of these things. Yeah. <laughs> a, la a laptop, yeah. a laptop yeah. and a little. They, they would just have a drone. A couple, I couple iPads in the front. Yeah, that's the oh, that's a good point. Listen, they have the same. It's just still a bucket with balls in it in this new yeah. movie, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> well, they're highly. It's 2024. You can't get a better of a bucket. No, like what the bro, like get get a freaking potato gun and just, like, shoot those things into it. Actually, really. Good. Why can't they like? Can't they we fly gotta get this over guy it? on the team. <laughs> Potato gun. Gunk. Yeah, like one of those t-shirt guns. Yeah, man. I go, yeah, I know what you said. He made those things out of PVC pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, all I know is I want to go get in my Jeep and drive really fast out in the desert. Yeah. With with uh, Sammy Hagar. Find a tornado. With Sammy Hagar. You don't know, find a sandstorm. Honestly, I'm, I'm as many dust devils as we have out here, I'm shocked we don't have like Dude, actual tornadoes. The first it year. Get cold enough. Yeah. The first year we moved here. My wife and I got caught in the F5 dust devil <laughs> of F5 dust devils. Really? I'm not even joking. It was wild. We were driving out. We just rented a house out of Lake Las Vegas. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we were driving out Lake Mead, whatever parkway. And just like this movie, we're, we're driving along. And all of a sudden we see everybody start pulling over on the road. And we're like, what the hell is going on? And dumbass me. I was like, whatever. These guys are morons. I go over <laughs> our little hill and all of a sudden, there's a dust devil coming right, it's, and it was pitch black. It was the it was like a sentient being, <laughs> okay. And this wasn't a tornado; it was a dust devil. Yeah, but it was huge. It was Explain probably to people what like, a dust like, devil like a Tasmanian devil. It's, it was, a dust it, devil is basically a, like a baby tornado. Yeah, yeah, it's like a very light tornado. And and this thing just came in and hammered us, and it got pitch black. And I'm on the road, and I'm driving. And there's shit hitting my car. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to get a paint job. And stuff <laughs> I, I figured stuff was gonna like break my window. None of it ever happened, but it was scary. Yeah. And it was just a dust devil. Yeah. All right. So I can't even imagine getting hit by a freaking tornado. It was just, it was wild. But it's crazy. I can remember mm -hmm. being like, like maybe six. Like I was little and being at a friend's house and we had a tornado. And so mm -hmm. we had to go down into the basement and her dad was standing outside waiting to see which way it would go. Mm -hmm. We were just screaming. Was he, no. was, was, he, yeah. was, was he out there trying to like be the, the tornado whisperer? Oh, no, <laughs> listen, dude. Every dad, every single dad yeah, in the world is going to stand on their porch and watch before they go into the basement. Yeah. They're going to be like, no, I got to see this shit. My, my dad <laughs> outran a t tornado. Of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, you Ron's a savage. They, they called it Rapid Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Because we, we were stationed in Alabama and, and literally like everyone was being evacuated. And my dad like outran the tornado to like, you know, like make sure everyone got, you know, a, that's incredible a shelter and uh, the, the Air Force Base. And everyone started just calling them rapid. <laughs> that's awesome. What do you, what's your score? Oh, my score. Oh, God. This is like a <laughs> logical issues aside. This is a five out of five. Wow. wow. I love this movie. Yeah, I will watch it anytime. I rewatched it this morning before you guys came in. I put it on the TV I over got here. It on right now. Yeah, I, it just it's, it's like right it's perfect. <laughs> I love this movie. It's so fun. I'm so excited for the new one. Uh, five out of five, man. Yeah. All right. For entertainment purposes only. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. it makes sense. The bucket with the balls in it drives me crazy every time. I'm like, why is it a bucket? Why? And and <laughs> and there's the one scene where Bill Paskin crawls in the back of the truck and he spins like three minutes trying yeah. to flip this thing on with the switches seven different things he has to turn on Why is and then it so and then the next time they use it he just goes click all right we're good to go yeah. i'm like they got the siren on it. <laughs> 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 like why what the fuck is that <laughs> <laughs> like 
A Dorothy, tornado, tornado's gonna see those sirens and go, oh shit, I'm gonna go around that. <laughs> Dorothy is the fucking dumbest thing in this movie. <laughs> So stupid, but I don't care. It's five out of five. I love this movie. Right Vader, how about you? Or um, uh, Dutch? <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's not a five. Okay, but man, it's a strong it's four. Enough, yeah. It's a strong four. Okay, it's a super fun movie. Very nostalgic for me. You, you know, I love the old CGI. It still looks good to me. I think so. You know, it's just a fun, fun story with some really good actors that you know. You miss I, seeing. I, I, I miss seeing. Yeah. And, I could probably watch this movie easily once or twice a year and never get tired of it. Yep. So yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you, man. It's it's really good, really fun movie. Good deal. Jude? I can watch this movie over and over again and it never gets old right. for me. I loved it the first time I saw it. I remember when it came out and I loved it then. I love it now. It still holds up for me. Yeah, there are some things that you're just like, Come on, man. <laughs> but you don't care. It's a disaster yeah, right. movie. Like, yeah. I fucking love disaster movies. And I agree with Vader. This is a strong four out of five cows. <laughs> Flying cows? Flying, Flying cows. cows. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Poo poo pants, Kadish. <laughs> what you got for us? I can remember being really excited going to see this movie in the theater and walking out of the theater being very disappointed. <laughs> and I get more and more disappointed every time I rewatch it. <laughs> This is a one and a half star. No. Bullshit! You know not. what he is right Bullshit. now? You remember the movie uh, Fat Man with Walton Goggins? Yeah. Yes. He was so disappointed he turned. He ended up being a hitman. For, yeah. That was going yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. That's him right now. That's him? Yeah. <laughs> He's a hitman for good movies? He didn't get his baseball bat or whatever. Yeah. I didn't get a good movie. <laughs> yeah. And thus, that's yeah. my villain's yeah. origin story. This yeah. movie's great. Twister is your origin, villain origin story. That's funny. Get ready to enter the suck zone. The suck zone. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, well, why I, don't you tell sound. everyone's southern accents in this was so bad. Oh, yeah. so funny. Yeah. Hey, Dusty, why don't you tell Melissa uh, why you are the way you are? <laughs> How he immediately, like, gets rid of her. Yeah. And he's like, I'm jumping in the truck with Joe. <laughs> oh, the fuck you are, <laughs> I gotta go with Joe, honey. See you later. Yeah. Oh, okay. He just leaves his new fiance. <laughs> Ditches her. Yeah. With Dusty. <laughs> In a tornado. <laughs> Savage. All right, guys, that's it. I uh, look really look forward to watching the new one. I'm sure we'll co probably cover it in a couple of weeks on the podcast. Whether or not it'll come out that same we'll week. We'll cover it know. six years from now. Yeah, yeah. When it no longer matters. <laughs> we'll try to cover it before it uh leaves the the wave of interest on YouTube. But um that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned for next week. Stay salty.